When Toyota launched the third-generation Tundra with its all-new twin-turbo V6 engine, expectations were sky-high. The move away from the legendary 5.7-liter V8 toward a more efficient, high-output turbocharged design was bold, modern, and technically impressive. However, real-world ownership data, teardown analyses, and warranty reports soon revealed that the original engine block design faced stresses it was not fully optimized to handle under certain conditions. By the time Toyota finalized the 2026 Tundra, engineers had already spent several years quietly re-evaluating the engine block from the inside out. The result is not a simple material tweak or software band-aid, but a fundamentally reinforced engine block architecture aimed at long-term durability, load stability, and thermal resilience. This video breaks down exactly how Toyota reinforced the 2026 Tundra engine block, why those changes were necessary, and what mechanical engineers say about the effectiveness of the redesign. Why the original engine block needed reinforcement. From an engineering standpoint, the original Tundra V6 block was not poorly designed. In fact, on paper, it met all structural and durability requirements. The challenge came from real-world usage patterns that exceeded modeled assumptions. The twin-turbo V6 generates high cylinder pressures at relatively low RPM, especially under towing, hill climbing, and sustained boost conditions. Unlike a naturally aspirated V8 that spreads stress across more cylinders and larger displacement, a turbocharged V6 concentrates load more intensely in fewer combustion chambers. Mechanical engineers analyzing early failures identified three primary stress contributors. Elevated peak cylinder pressure under boost, repeated thermal cycling from turbo heat, localized stress concentration in the lower block and main bearing webs. Over time, these forces exposed weak points not in materials, but in geometry, wall thickness distribution, and load paths within the block. Toyota's response was not reactive guesswork. It was a methodical structural redesign based on finite element analysis, metallurgical testing, and real-world teardown data. Core philosophy of the 2026 reinforcement strategy Rather than over-engineering the entire block and adding unnecessary weight, Toyota engineers focused on targeted reinforcement. The goal was to strengthen areas that experience the highest cyclic stress without compromising efficiency or balance. According to powertrain engineers familiar with the program, the guiding principles were increase rigidity where stress concentrates, improve load distribution across the block, reduce microflex under peak torque, enhance resistance to thermal distortion. This meant revisiting nearly every structural element of the engine block. Thicker cylinder walls with optimized geometry. One of the most critical changes for 2026 involves cylinder wall thickness and shape. Early versions of the block used relatively thin walls to reduce weight and improve cooling efficiency. While this approach works well in many applications, sustained boost loads revealed that thin walls can flex microscopically under extreme pressure. That flex does not cause immediate failure, but over time it contributes to ring seal degradation, uneven wear, and localized hotspots. For 2026, Toyota revised the casting to add selective thickness increases around the upper and mid-cylinder sections. Importantly, this was not a uniform thickening. Engineers reshape the walls using ribbed internal contours that resist outward expansion while maintaining coolant flow. Engineers describe this as geometry-based strength rather than brute force material addition. The result is a cylinder that remains rounder under load, improving piston stability and long-term compression integrity. Reinforced Main Bearing Webs Another major upgrade lies in the main bearing web structure. The main bearings are the backbone of any engine block anchoring the crankshaft and absorbing massive forces generated during combustion. In high-torque turbo engines, these forces increase dramatically, especially at low RPM where peak torque occurs. The original Tundra block used a conventional deep skirt design, but analysis showed that under repeated high-load cycles, micro-movement could occur in the main webs. Over thousands of cycles, this movement can lead to bearing wear, oil film breakdown, and in extreme cases, crankshaft alignment issues. For 2026, Toyota engineers thickened the main bearing webs, increased fillet radii to reduce stress risers, improved load transfer between webs and block skirt. 
These changes significantly increase torsional rigidity, keeping the crankshaft better aligned even under maximum torque output. Mechanical engineers who reviewed teardown photos described the new block as visibly stiffer, especially in the lower structure. Redesigned block skirt for better load distribution. The block skirt is often overlooked, but it plays a vital role in resisting twisting forces. Turbocharged engines produce asymmetrical loads as boost builds unevenly across firing events. If the skirt lacks stiffness, those forces can cause subtle block distortion. Toyota addressed this by redesigning the lower block skirt geometry, adding material in high stress zones while maintaining overall weight targets. The skirt now integrates more effectively with the main bearing caps, creating a unified load bearing structure rather than separate components, resisting force independently. From an engineering perspective, this change improves what's known as structural continuity, reducing localized stress peaks that can initiate fatigue over time. Improved alloy composition and heat treatment material science also played a key role in the 2026 reinforcement. While Toyota retained an aluminum block for weight and efficiency reasons, the alloy formulation was revised. Engineers adjusted the silicon content and trace elements to improve both strength and thermal stability. Equally important was heat treatment optimization. The new block undergoes a more controlled thermal aging process that enhances grain structure consistency. This results in better resistance to cracking, reduced distortion under heat, improved fatigue life. Metallurgists involved in the program note that these changes improve durability without making the block brittle, which is a critical balance in high load engines. Enhanced cooling jacket design. Reinforcing an engine block is not just about adding material. Managing heat is equally important. Turbocharged engines generate intense localized heat around the cylinders, exhaust side, and upper block. If heat is not evenly managed, reinforced areas can still fail due to thermal stress. For 2026, Toyota redesigned the cooling jacket pathways to ensure more uniform temperature distribution. Coolant flow was increased around the upper cylinder walls and exhaust side areas, reducing hot spots that contribute to material fatigue. By lowering thermal gradients across the block, engineers reduced the expansion contraction cycles that accelerate wear and distortion, reduced microflex under peak torque. One of the most significant benefits of the reinforced block is a reduction in microflex. Microflex refers to minute, invisible movement within the engine block under load. While not immediately destructive, repeated microflex can cause cumulative damage over time, especially in high output engines. Testing data indicates that the 2026 block shows measurably less deflection under simulated towing and boost conditions. The stability improves. Bearing longevity, oil film consistency, piston alignment, ring seal durability. In practical terms, this means the engine maintains its mechanical tolerances longer, even under demanding use. Expert insights from powertrain engineers. Independent powertrain engineers reviewing the 2026 changes have been largely positive. One former OEM engine development engineer described the redesign as a classic second generation correction. According to him, the original block met theoretical requirements, but the updated version reflects real-world learning, which is often more valuable than simulations alone. Another mechanical analyst noted that Toyota's approach mirrors what has historically made the brand successful. Conservative redesigns based on failure data, not rushed overhauls or cosmetic fixes. Importantly, experts emphasize that the reinforcement strategy is not about chasing higher horsepower. It is about ensuring long-term reliability at existing output levels, especially for owners who tow, haul, or operate in hot climates. What this means for real-world reliability. From an ownership perspective, the reinforced engine block in the 2026 Tundra is expected to deliver improved long-term durability, reduced risk of internal wear under heavy use, better thermal stability, more consistent performance over high mileage. While no engine is immune to failure, the structural improvements significantly reduce the likelihood of block-related issues that can cascade into major repairs. For buyers who are hesitant after early reports surrounding the new Tundra generation, the 2026 redesign represents a meaningful engineering response rather than a superficial update. 
Why Toyota didn't publicly advertise these changes? Interestingly, Toyota has not heavily marketed the engine block reinforcement. From an industry perspective, this is intentional. Publicly highlighting structural fixes can unintentionally validate earlier concerns, even if the fixes are successful. Instead, Toyota chose to implement the improvements quietly, relying on improved reliability metrics to speak for themselves. This approach aligns with Toyota's long-standing philosophy, fix the problem thoroughly, then move on. Final Engineering Verdict The 2026 Toyota Tundra engine block reinforcement is a textbook example of data-driven engineering refinement. Rather than redesigning the entire engine, Toyota focused on strengthening the exact areas where real-world stress revealed vulnerabilities. Through thicker cylinder walls, reinforced main bearing webs, improved alloy composition, redesigned cooling jackets, and enhanced structural continuity, the new block addresses the core mechanical challenges of a high-torque twin-turbo V6. From an engineering standpoint, these changes significantly improve the engine's ability to withstand sustained load, thermal stress, and long-term use. For truck owners who expect their vehicles to work hard for years, the reinforced 2026 Tundra engine block represents a meaningful step forward in durability and confidence. In short, this is not just an update. It is a structural correction rooted in engineering reality.